Rick. Now, Rick, we have had a stellar lineup of speakers, including yourself. Thank you, you. You took the stage earlier on today. You've addressed the beautiful crowd here. Thousands of people are out here today. Tell our audience at home what you have told the people here in Arizona. I told them that I've moved into the pissed off phase. <laughs> Can I say that? Well, the last I mean, guest I just did too, did. so <laughs> go ahead. I mean, look, the, the, the reality is, is that Washington, D.C. is broken, and these people here all know that. You were amongst the crowd today. You could hear it. People are frustrated with Washington, D.C. That's been the main sentiment here. And, and, and gone is the day that we have a fight between Republicans and Democrats. It's a fight between Washington, D.C. and the rest of America. And I think capitals across the world are having that same problem. Politicians don't listen. And so what you're going to hear tonight from President Trump is a great speech about why it's important to have everyday people involved in their government. Donald Trump is an outsider, and the insiders in Washington, D.C. hated him for that. They want people who are going to play by the rules, which is why they hired Joe Biden, who had been around for 40 years, and everybody knows exactly who he is. But let me just finish by saying this. It's scary for me to see what's happening with foreign policy. We're having a land war, about to have a land war in Europe because of the weakness of Joe Biden. I just want to go back to something you said, though, about how people are scared because because uh, Donald Trump is so different. But if Donald Trump is so different, and that's why they, uh, why Joe Biden has become elected, why does Donald Trump have such a strong following of, like, it's almost like a cold following of people like no other president has ever had? Yeah, you look at these crowds here, and I think it's the frustration with Washington and politicians, you know. People recognize that when Donald Trump was president, he was not a politician. He said things, he did things. He's also actually, this is a controversial statement, but I really believe this, he's not a partisan person. He doesn't think in terms of Republican and Democrat. Now, he's had to learn to do that because Washington is like that. But the reality is, is that he wants to get stuff done, and he'll work with the other side. Right. He did that on prison reform. He did it on a variety of different issues. And that's why you saw the country really move forward. And we had so many successes in okay. the Trump administration. All right. So, uh, well, he's going to be taking the stage soon. He's the last guest, last speaker that we have left. So uh, maybe we'll hear that he will be announced saying that we'll have, have Trump 2024 in the future. Rick I think Grinnell. you're going to be very pleased is what he says. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rick Grinnell, thank you so much for joining us. Nice.